The Dano Lock is an Apple Home compatible smart lock that allows you to turn your existing deadbolt setup into a smart lock by replacing only your latch. It's kind of the same product as the August Smart Lock, so it begs the question, which one is better? The Dynalog version 3 is better by a tiny margin. It's easy to install, it's a little annoying to set up, but overall, just better. But with all things in life, there are caveats, and the biggest one is, well, how's your home life? In this review, I'm gonna talk about the features of the Dynalog version 3. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install and give you a couple of pro tips when it comes to the install. I'm gonna talk about the app and the software and why I don't like certain parts of it. And the last thing I'll do is compare the Dynalog version 3 against the August Smart Lock. So let's geek out on some smart locks. When it comes to all my reviews for smart home reviews, I base them on actual usage in my actual home. It actually got a little silly over the last week since for this review at one point in time, I didn't have a single working deadbolt in my home. CNET's got test homes, I test in my home. The Dano Lock is a retrofit smart lock. It has more in common with the August Smart Lock than it does with the Quickset or Wiser Premise or the Slodge Sense. Dano Lock is a Danish company, so the design of the product is gonna be great, right? What is it with Scandinavian countries being so very proficient with design? It must be the air. Regardless, the Dano Lock looks very simple and well, that's good because it's just a lock, not an aluminum puck. Now, despite the simple design, some people might get caught up on the fact that the unit isn't going to match 100% with their existing existing door handles. The exterior of the lock is made from anodized aluminum, which provides a decent level of scratch resistance. Now, despite the touted Danish design, I did find part of the lock having a sharp edge, which seems kind of odd, but you don't actually touch that part during normal usage. Just something I just discovered. Now, one of the standout marketing features of this lock is the AES-256 encryption, coupled with the TLS 1.2 protocol, with everything running off or sitting on an HSM. That's a lot of marketing fluff. So basically, the Danalog version 3 is digitally incredibly secure. But I don't think that's going to matter for the average home user. Why? Well, Monty and I are going to show you. Hey Siri, unlock garage lock. Because if somebody really wants to break into your home, they're just gonna kick down the door. So it doesn't really matter if it's digitally AES 1256 or 128. You're gonna get a lot more security for your home physically if you actually use long screws in the dud bolt latch. I don't have long screws in this one. This is the garage setup where I'm, where I'm using the August smart lock. So it doesn't matter as much, but on your front door, you're gonna get probably just as much security using long screws for your double latch than you would going between AES 128 to 256. Just my two cents. And even if they hack your lock and they sneakily walk in without you being notified uh, through Apple Home, if you're a smart home user, you've probably got a smart home camera as well. So there's a lot of things that can catch a person who's not supposed to be in your home. I'm just saying. Now, when it comes to compatibility, the Dano Lock version 3 works with Apple Home, Z-Wave, and Zigbee, but you'll need to use a different lock for each platform you plan on using. Dano Lock sent me the Apple Home version, which is slightly different than the Z-Wave or Zigbee versions. Ironically, I just did spend a bunch of minutes talking about the security protocols, um, but the Apple Home uses something different. You know, it uses protocols called ChaCha20 plus Poly1305. The Dano Lock is powered by CR123 batteries, which look like half AAs, but pack a bit more juice than the standard AA battery. The CR123 is a lithium battery, and according to Dano Lock, will last 1.5 years with 10 remote unlocks a day, which is pretty impressive given that my August Smart Home Lock batteries died after eight months just sitting in my garage. The average unlock per day, bagel. Now, my biggest issue with installation was actually to figure out which door to use. I only have three deadbolt doors on my home with the August lock on the garage, followed by the squash sent on my back door and the front door, which I'm not allowed to use. But funny story, I'm not supposed to touch this door because, well, my wife really likes how it looks. My wife's not here. She's gone for 10 days with my son visiting the in-laws. So I get to play with the front door and put a smart lock on it. Installing the lock is quite simple, and it isn't as involved as the premise or slosh sense, but I did come across a, a small issue during the install, which some of you will need to be aware if you're planning on getting this unit. You start the install process by basically taping up the front of the lock, then you need to figure out which plate to use and the corresponding connector. Make sure you install the plate in the correct orientation before twisting the unit onto the plate and powering it up. Then you go through the install process through the Apple Home or Danalock app, and then you clean everything up. Holy frick, that's loud. Now the install process was actually very painless except for the plate portion. 
Why? Because the labeled Wiser plate did not work with my Wiser lock. I had to use the quick set plate. Now this really seems like a Boo Earns moment for Danalog, but Wiser and Quickset are owned by the same parent company, so their parts are going to be interchangeable. Now before you can use the Danalog to its full potential, you'll have to poke this tiny hole a bunch of times. I'm not joking, but I'll cover that in the app portion of this review. Now the second pro tip deals with where your home hub is, or your Apple TV, or your iPad is. Make sure that your home hub is close enough to the door within 30 feet so that you can actually remotely access that door. Bluetooth 4.x has a brutal usable range of 30 feet, which means my front door is out of reach of my Apple TV if my iPad isn't in the living room. Onto the app and software, which is an area that I think needs a bit more improvement from my perspective. Now the overall functionality of a purely Apple Home lock in Apple Home is gonna be hamstrung a bit, but other brands have products that are compatible with Apple Home that have additional features in their apps, which would be a value add, I guess, when you compare it to the Danalog. Now, first of all, make sure you use the right app. There's two on the App Store. Get the green one, the one that says version three. The white app actually has an Apple Watch app, and I couldn't get that to work with my lock. The second the second reason why I think the app needs a bit more work or more features is that several hardware features such as auto lock needs to be configured on the actual device rather than through the app. Now this seems a little backwards to me as you have to kind of poke the tiny pinhole to enable all the hardware features. Now I'll be honest with you, having to use a SIM card, well anything really, but this is a SIM card tray removal tool. Uh, to poke this tiny hole to do all the setup for the lock is a little annoying and it seems really backwards to me considering that other products like the Schlage Sense app allows you do, to do all of that basically in the app. Now at the beginning of the video I did say, you know, setting it up is annoying. This is the primary reason why you have to poke it a bunch of times and watch LED light flashes. But the upside is that, well, you really only have to do it once. You don't have to deal with this all the time. Now, the one thing that is missing in the app is the ability to let people use the lock. Sure, you can add the person through Apple Home, but you can't really constrain what that person sees. For example, my wife hires a cleaning person, well, to keep our marriage rock solid, because well, cleaning is a big deal, apparently. Now, that person needs to access that home but they don't need to access the cameras that I have sprinkled across the house or the other sensors. With other products, I can give them a code or give them a digital key for them to use. I can't do that with the Danalog version three that is designed specifically for the Apple Home. Now there's a slight upside to this setup is that basically Danalog doesn't have a finger in your home, unlike August, which requires you to sign up with their web service. And that just seems unnecessary to me. Too many people having digital fingers into my home, I don't like that. So being able to constrain everything into one system with one connection to iCloud, well, that's way better in my opinion. Other hardware features that need to be enabled physically include the holdback latch and twist assist. Twist Assist is a neat feature that allows you to unlock your door by slightly turning the latch. I found that, you know, Twist Assist is handy when you need to access the lock when your hands are full. Sure, it doesn't take much effort to turn, you know, a normal latch, but being able to push it slightly with one finger and having the lock operate is nice. Now, the holdback lock feature is kind of different. Apparently, it's made for doors that doesn't have handles on them, which is hard for me to imagine, but I've only lived in Canada for most of my life, so maybe that's normal. Anyways, the moment that you open the lock, it actually locks to one side and allows you to pull on it. I think that's what it's used for. Now, if you're finding this video useful, considering getting all your smart home tech through my Amazon links, it doesn't cost you anymore. And that's basically the only way I get paid to keep doing these videos. Danalock was awesome enough to send me the lock, but they're not compensating me for the up until this point before editing and doing all the other B-roll shots, 27 hours. It takes a lot of time and effort to do these reviews. So any sort of support is greatly appreciated. All right, on to the August Smart Lock and Danalock comparison. Now, prior to this review, my go-to recommendation for a retro style fit lock was the August Smart Lock. But now it's gonna be this thing, the Dana Lock. I say this for two reasons. The first reason is size. The August product is just way too big. 
it's not going to work in my back door because of the window. And I really have to give props to Danalox's decision for using CR123 batteries rather than double A's because the smaller size means a smaller footprint. Personally, when it comes to tech, I want it to be kind of out of the way. It's not a centerpiece in my house. It just needs to work. Now, the second reason is ease of use. The Danalock version 3 acts more like a regular deadbolt than the August Smart Lock, which acts like a jar lid that I have to turn every single time I use it. The twist assist feature is actually very handy, um, almost on the day-to-day -day basis, actually, or if you're just incredibly weak-fingered. Now, the only reason why I wouldn't get the Danalock version 3 is if you need more flexibility when it comes to giving people access to your home, specifically when it comes to the app. Again, going back to my example of the cleaning person, they don't need to see if my infant is sleeping or not when they're not cleaning my house that just seems weird what your home life is is probably going to dictate which lock you're going to choose if you need to give people lots of access keys then yeah you probably should go with the august smart lock because it has that feature now i know encryption is going to be higher on the analog but again it doesn't seem like a big deal to me I'll be honest with you, I did contact August to see what their encryption level was. I called them twice, and both times they told me it was SSL+, Plus, which is security for the connection between you and my website, per se, not between the hardware pieces, so I, maybe they don't even know. Hmm? So based on what you've seen, which one would you go with? Would you go with the Dana Lock, or would you go with the August Smart Home Lock? In terms of price, they're pretty comparable kind of. Uh, the Danalock is actually a little more popular, um, not in North America. They're starting to come over, I do believe, which is kind of cool, which is kind of neat to be able to see this product before it gets really mainstream where I live anyways. So leave your answer in the comment section below. If you have questions for me, leave your answer in the comment section below. That's kind of all I got. Hey, Monty slowly moved out of the picture. <laughs>